All right, wandering trainers, let's go. We're doing it. But I think that what I really, 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 really want to see is I want to see like when exalted. Oh, actually, let me check this out real quick. Sage sniper invoker. Why? Why does? Why? Why do you ever have the chance to get three classes on this? You should get. Did, yeah. So why? That's that. That's the weird thing, right? I mean, we're going Invoker Sage, right? That, like, that's that's the only way that we can really do this. It's just Invoker Sage. I think we have the plan, though. I think we know exactly what we need to do. The road less traveled. Gain one XP f at the start of each combat. Each unique Sage that starts in the middle two rows grants one more. See, go this with Exalted. We are chillin' chillin', you know? We are on a fast track to level 9 right now. I don't even care that Midnight Siphon's here. We're going road less traveled. We have Exalted. We are going to go hard into level 9. It is going to be quick. So we go Exalted. We go Sage. Can I put my dummy in the middle for plus 1 XP? You're so right! You're so right! Three XP, please. Three XP? Oh my god! You're so right. Oh my god. We're getting four passive XP a turn. Six passive XP a turn? No way. This is crazy. I completely forgot about that. We have to Sage 2 active as well. Which is awesome. Okay. So, then we sell these and we just don't care. You see, 5 passive XP... Five passive XP, not six. Sorry. Oh yeah, no, no. It is it is six, because I also have this exalted soul core. Five without using my exalted soul core. We may have found the cheat code, y'all. Let's go Sunfire. And then we'll just plop this rod on her. Top ten things I never want to say again. All right, all right, all right. All right, well, we're going to take heavy damage here. I don't think we necessarily care, though. Honestly. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Let's just... We'll, we'll find something else to throw in. Because, honestly, I just I just want to make the money. Uh, Dragon Lord Invoker? Sure. But the end game comp here... The end game comp is going to be, like, full Dragon Lord, full Sage. So we go Wukong, we go Rakan... Um, we go... Honestly, we could just... We could play, like, Hui and stuff, too. Um, we go Wukong, we go... Rakan, Morgana... Dragonlord... Dragonlord... Dragonlord, Sage... Yeah, so then we go 5 Sage, we go... We go 4 Dragonlord. Yeah, and then we also have Invoker splashed in there. We could go Annie, too. Annie would be a good uh, tank as well. We don't even care, like, whether or not we win or lose. Like, who who cares? Who cares? Nobody cares. With how much, with how much XP we're getting? Sheesh. Any sages on Carousel? Not Diana. Diana was the one that I cared about. We just want tank, honestly. So let's just let's just go like steadfast heart here. Yeah, let's just go steadfast heart here. Alright, 
so we could put in the behemoth. We could put in the behemoth. But I think that honestly the best play is just to kind of chill, right? Because we already have so much XP gain. I don't think that the play would ever be to... I don't think the play would ever be to do like... Like waste our econ. Because we already have so much, so much money. Or so much econ, so much uh, XP. If I could talk, that'd be great. But this is, uh... I take back what I said about this target dummy. This target dummy's amazing. Okay. I'm not, I'm, I'm not worried about this. Actually, we even sell the Thresh. We even sell the Thresh for these two. We got our pairs. Pairs way more important. But we are going to be naturally level six at Krugs. Naturally. We, we only put in 4 XP. 4 money for XP. And then we can play Shen. Okay. Yeah, it's at the start of combat. Which is really weird. Really awkward. It's not that bad, though. We're gonna get what? So we're gonna get 3 XP. We're gonna get 3 XP, which is gonna put us at 15. So we're gonna have to sell our Soul Core in order to hit level 6 at Krugs. Not a problem, though. Like, honestly, I, I think I think we just sell the Soul Core now. So we get three here. Oh, we're actually, we're not even going to get it now. Unless we get our Exalted, like, as soon as the combat ends. If the combat ends and then we get our Exalted, then we can sell it for, uh, for level six. We good. Combat ends. We hit level six at Krug's. That's absurd. Without, like, honestly, no better way to say it. It's absurd. This is a gold augment. It's a perfect setup for a gold augment, but it's a gold augment. Like, the absolute perfect setup for this augment. All right, Krugs, let's see what you get for me. What you got for me. Is this ruining my uh, my bit rate? Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, Orn? Horn this early. Sure. We could even go... Okay, so here's here's the plan, right? So we go Orn, we go Silas. We go Orn... We drop this for Silas now. Right? We go Spark on him. We go Spark on him. This team is disgusting. Level six, we have two four costs that are that are going to be available next level, which is going to be very very soon. We put in the Orn. Okay. All right. The Wandering Trainers was insane too, and first I wasn't happy about it. Yeah, I take back what I said. I'm, I'm, I apologize to to the Wandering Trainer. Wandering Trainer was just trying his best. Um, all right, so let's see. We have Capricious Forge. Capricious Forge could be good for Orn. Could be really good for Orn. Best friends, no. Crash test dummies. Crash test dummies is always just a slam dunk when you have target dummies. I think it's Crash Test Dummies. Yeah, it's Crash Test Dummies. Syndra. 
Huh? Hello? Do we go seven right now? Just push for the win streak? Because we'll have Orin, which is going to be insane, right? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Shen might have been better, but I think that Orin is just like a, such a strong unit early. Because nobody's going to be able to going to be able to kill him, right? Then we just get free items for the for the front line. We got a vow there. And then we also have a better chance of finding um, the other the other sages, right? Yeah, I mean that's 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 what I'm thinking at least. That's what I'm thinking. I definitely want to hold on to these Janas. We're level seven at three two. With twenty gold, by the way. Normally people are level six with like thirty gold. Galio? No, I feel like there's no reason to have the Galio here. Yeah, I feel like there's no reason to have the Galio here. Everybody's looking at my board like, what? This is a 3-3 board? <laughs> like, this guy here, he's got a pretty okay board. But he's playing Epic. Yeah, but three three passive XP here is insanity. Four if you include the Exalted. Finding Morgana here for more Sage would be awesome. It would also give me Ghostly. Like, that's that's the most important part, is that it would give me Ghostly as well. But we're going Fast 10. Fast 10 is 100% in the books today. I don't think... We're definitely not going 5 Exalted. I always feel like 5 Exalted is kind of a little bit of a troll. Unless you have, like, a really good, like... A really good uh, spread of them. Like, I get it. It's 25% extra damage if you if you can hit level 10. But I just, it feels like there's no other synergy, and 25% extra damage is not, is not enough for me. You've never gone 10? Get good? I don't know. I'll just tell you. <laughs> um, let's go... Yeah, we'll, we'll go this. Sorry, Blue. I don't mean to hate. Ash? Not really. Not really feeling the ash. Hey, if I'm winning at 9, why do I need to go 10? Sometimes, uh, yeah, I mean, 10 is ten is honestly like a... It's it's just a... It's, it's super situational. You don't always want to go 10. Sometimes you do. But in this case, I absolutely want to. All right, we'll go the Rabadons there. We'll probably replace that, put that on um, on Morgana when we find her. When are we hitting level eight? Who's pinging what? Thresh? Is that what you're pinging? Or Annie? I don't know what you're pinging. This guy has Dragonlord Sage too, like. Look at this. This guy actually has the perfect Dragonlord Sage set up. I'm over here trying to think that I do, but he actually like look at the look at this spread. Invoker Dragonlord Sage. Name a and then he also has Sage Crest. Like name a better name a better setup for that. We're completely contesting each other, but I think that honestly, like I'll be I think that I'll be um I think it'll be better. I think it'll be better off just because he's what? What level is he? Six? I'm almost level eight. He's at, he's at 50 gold. I'm at 50 gold. This guy's got Dragonlord Arcanist. There's going to be there's gonna be a lot of overlap. There's going to be a lot of overlap. But I mean, if I can just go Legendary Soup, I just go Legendary Soup.
kind of forgot that I had this uh, a loon. Nice. This Silas is also kind of kind of sleeper, OP. All right, we level. We're gonna hit level eight at a healthy fifty gold here. Is this set ten? Is that what's going on here? Is this set ten? We're hitting level eight at a healthy fifty gold at stage four. Do we have headliners? All right, so we're gonna have what? Five XP here, which means that we actually do want to, yeah, cool. So we sold the exalted soul core. Now we're gonna be level eight. Hey, we just dropped Diana's. Diana's huge here. All right, let's roll for our for our other girl. Set. Ho. Oh. Set's better than this guy. Can we find her, please? We're not finding her. We're not finding her. Alright. We go Bloodthirster on set. Then we'll go Spark on Orn. Uh, we probably should have replaced Umbral at this point, too, for Dragonlord. Well, I mean, we have the two-star loon. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this guy has so many components, though. Like, he actively has so many components. Blinding speed, overwhelming force. Do we go full damage set? Deathblade IE set. Or is it uplink? Behemoth set. Full damage set. What else? Who else would we go with that? Zaya? I feel like overwhelming force is not the play. Radiant refactor. Blessed bloodthirster on this guy. I'm down. Let's go instead of umbral. Actually, I mean, Umbral's really good, though. Are we are we okay to take out our Exalted at this point? Deathblade the set. Full damage set. Bam! Come on. Big cast. Big cast. Really? We need more wardens now. Need more wardens. See, we didn't really hit what we were looking for when we rolled. We need to roll a little bit now. Lissandra? Alright, we found this girl. Honestly, I think it's time to just, like transition out of out of um exalted there it is that's what i wanted and then we can take this guy out for this girl and then we're good then we go steadfast hard on him and then sunfire cape here And then we'll put in our Dragon Lords next. But now we have Four Sage. We just need to find our Wukong. And honestly, these items that are on set right now could be great on Wukong. Bam! Every time he casts. Because every time he casts, he heals his HP. No? Just me? Just me?
I don't know. It's not feeling as crazy as it used to. What do we go for? This? We need two... It's, that's, that's our biggest problem here, is that we need two stars. Without two stars, we are significantly worse off. Um... I don't know, man. Do we take out Umbral? It's a 200 shield with an Execute. We can put in Dragonlord, which gives a little bit more damage. And then we can position a little bit easier, too. Yeah. I think the positioning is way more important than the Umbral right now. Two-star Huey! Oh, he's at zero gold. Come on, Seth. What happened? Also, let's talk about let's let's talk about this. Two star Huey with Static Shiv and Ginsu's doing more than Earth Angels Syndra. Which I know it's a one star Syndra, but like Earth Angels. Five cost spirit to help. We activated Dryad. Okay. We're gonna need to hit nine soon. Gonna need to hit nine soon, because we are we are fizzling away. Fizzling away. And if we could if we could maybe hit like Yeah, because this guy really hasn't squatted that much HP. So we need to hit like Wukong. Honestly, after this stage, we we just go for it. After this after this stage, we just go for it. Because this set is not is not worth it right now. We need to put in more dragon lords. We need to find our Arvakan, and then we need to find our Wukong. Because Wukong is is going to be way way better, way way better than this set. Cassette's doing great, don't get me wrong. He's doing great. The Azir, though, just out of nowhere, doing 4,200 damage. Alright, let's snapshot this. What are we taking out? We're taking out Set, we're putting in Wukong. And then we honestly take out a Mumu, too. Right? Take out a Mumu for like Ash, so that we have snipers. We level nine after this. Lee Sin maybe. Yeah. Lee Sin's definitely going in. Lee Sin's definitely going in. All right, let's find our Wukong. Definitely want Rakan. Definitely put Lee Sin in. If I can find my dude. We have Behemoths active. Honestly, I should have taken out Orn. I didn't realize that I wasn't even playing Behemoths anymore. Oh, come on. Ridiculous. Three-star Yorick. Yeah, we need to take out Orn. Take out Orn, put in our Dragon Lords. Oh, I forgot that I had a component anvil here. I'm being silly this game. Alright, let's snapshot it. Take out Azir, because he's not actually in the comp. Take out Orn. Find my guy, please. 
There he is. But at this point, it's it's probably better to just put the items on him. Two star heart. Nah, I think it's better to just put like steadfast heart on on Udyr. No, it's 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 probably still better to just full itemize Wukong. And put these items on on Sandra's hitbox was too big. I am just scuffing everything about, huh? Look at all that Omnivamp, though. I find it weird that Udyr's AP. I mean, Udyr can, is... Udyr's not... He's hybrid in, in League. You know, you could play Phoenix Udyr and then he's AP. Or, I guess, I guess that's not what you do anymore. I don't know what, what it's called anymore, because then he just got reworked. Do I have a two-star this girl yet? I do. I do. I still have this Azir. Azir's gone. He left me. Alright, so we're placing all of these guys in the middle, right? In the in the middle two rows. We're hoping to hit our three-star Wukong. Or not three-star, two-star Wukong. Jesus, that'd be that'd be something. Then we put Rabadons on our on our girl over here. On our Morgana. I wish that I could put my Rakan in the third row. You know? That way he could get that way he could benefit from the AP from Sage. Is that mine? Belt? Oh my god. That's kinda what I wanted. Yeah, you see, one star Wukong is already doing this. Same with it same with Udir. Same with Udir. Honestly, sell all these. We need to find the we need to find the other guy. There's another Udir. We could do Gunblade on Udir. Or we could do Gunblade on Morgana. Probably Udir. Gunblade Udir. Never mind. They're stream sniping. With my four viewers currently. Let's go steadfast on Udir. Cause he will he'll heal all the way up. So he he actually I really like Steadfast on Udir because he has two different phases where he's at where he's above 50% HP. You know? We still can hit level 10, but I want to hit my two-star Wukong. Please. There he is. I guess I lock for it. Then Morgana is going to be a better applier than the Sunfire. So then we just do Morello there. Morello. Rakan's doing a lot of damage, by the way. A lot of damage. Honestly, if I... F okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna remake my my um, Rakan, my my Rakan uh, with the Morgan items here, and I'm almost dead with this comp. Huh? It's uh, you know what? Three st two star Wukong is gonna is gonna change this like a lot, and then we actually want to change the positioning up because we are not hitting level ten anymore. We are not hitting level ten anymore, so we do this. We change up the positioning so that way it's actually proper positioning now. Cause we are we don't we don't really care anymore. So we do Death Cap, Ginsu's, Morello on this guy. Cause he does so much damage already, right? So much damage already. And then the Wukong over here. If I can get even shroud for my for my uh for my other guy, I think that'd be even better. See, Rakan's doing the most damage actually. 
Oh! The big staff. Oh no. I just... I didn't murder that dude. I'm surprised this guy's actually in third right now. I'm surprised he's in third right now, because he was doing so well. You know? If we could find, um... Would we take out a sage? See, that's the thing. I don't think we would. I don't think we would. Lissandra needs to deal a little bit more damage. Let's actually pull her back. Give her some... Give her some AP. Dragonlord Sage. If we can find a... Soraka. Do we take out... Do we take this out for, for more... Um, maybe like the Zyra? For four sage instead? I think the answer is yes. I think we would. TG. TG's good. TG's really good. Yeah. TG for my Lisa Or my Diana. Who's better? Probably Lisa. I think he can work with more. With with different um, units. Alright, so I think that the play here is actually do this. Because the units that I saw over here were a little bit spooky. Mm, three star loon. Maybe this isn't enough for me. She takes a little bit of damage. Because the Udyr's now on her. Maybe. Maybe. Udyr? Are you a. Udyr is Pog? Udyr? No, I'm dead. I'm still super dead. I'm still super dead. Wait, Udir? No, I'm still super dead. We got third on that, though. You know what? That's pretty cool, though. Those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow my Twitch for more, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.